Man, hey, what's up y'all, JSB the Creator, and I am back again with a new video today for y'all. And for today's video, class is in session, all right? And you're looking at your teacher right here. Shut your ugly right? ass up. So what I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do today is change the tag on the Air Jordan 1, all right? Specifically for me, I am working on wow. these Heritage Jordan 1 uh, customs that I am turning into trophy rooms, which I posted a video a while back. You guys probably seen that. Well, it wasn't a while back. It was probably my most, one of my most recent videos. But I've been turning pairs of Heritage ones into this trophy room Chicago one. So the thing is, the Heritage ones come with these black and red uh, tongue tags. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not that Chicago one tongue tag, all right? So you're gonna be changing that into this. But I'm gonna show you guys how I did that, how I put it on here. So that way, if you wanna do your own Chicago ones or take another shoe and turn into a, another classic uh, Jordan one that released, I'll show you guys how to remove the tongue tag and you can do it on your own, all right? All right, I've never done it before, but that's why I'm here. I'm gonna teach y'all as I learn. So that way we can make mistakes together. I doubt there's gonna be mistakes made because I'm the teacher right now, all right? But we're gonna go through that process. I'm gonna take y'all through the steps with me. We're gonna get it done. Let's get it started. All right, so first things first, since class is in session, we need our materials. So I'm gonna let y'all know what that is. Obviously, you're gonna need the shoe, first of all. That goes without saying. You're also gonna need your tongue tags. I got these tongue tags off of eBay. I'm gonna leave the shop that I got them from in the description box below. Then you're gonna need something to remove the stitching off the original tag, as well as something to sew the new tag onto the shoe. My weapon of choice for sewing on the new tag onto the tongue is my good trusted sewing awl. All right, so the first thing you have to do is remove the tongue tag. So the way that the tongue is set up, it's folded under, stitched across, and the front piece is also folded under and stitched across. If you look in between there, you see that little ridge, it's folded and stitched across. So to remove this tongue, you need to remove this part first, fold it over and then remove the part right here. And then you begin to put this on, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. You have to remove them the tongue tags, you know, I just cut the little excess right here. I just want y'all to see that. See, it's folded like that. So it shows you basically how you're gonna stitch this piece on. You're gonna fold this piece and then fold that piece. So I'm gonna remove the front piece and then uh, we're gonna get to adding on the new tag. Boom, as you can see, it took the tag off. You know, just gotta cut off some of that. Also, I just wanna let y'all know that the speed at which I'm removing the tag is real time. That's not me time-lapsing the footage. That's just how fast I work. So I just want y'all to know that y'all need to step y'all game up. You know, when you're moving that slow, it makes it harder. Just move faster. So aside from that being cap, as you can see, the tongue is a vintage sail color. The original color of the tongue is right here under the, where the tongue tag was, which is white. I left it that way on purpose. So that way it gives me a little roadmap onto where I need to place this new, uh, you know, Jordan 1 Chicago tongue. So based on how the other tongue was stitched, I'm going to fold this part here, stitch that on first. Once I stitch that on first, I loop it around and then I'm going to stitch the back piece off first after folding it as well. Now I got my trusty sewing arm, which is my best friend. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to stitch this onto here. I need these little pins right here. I think a lattice is kind of dangerous. Do this with caution. If you have a pin uh, cushion, that'll be better. I have a pin drawer. I like to feel the pain of making a custom. There we go. Got the pins with minimum damage to my skin. So now I'm gonna use those pins to hold this tongue in place of where I want it to be. So like I said, I'm gonna fold it to stitch it, but I need it to stay still while I'm doing that. So you need your pins to help you get that bad boy in place. So that's what I'm doing here. And as you see, it is ready for me to stitch. So once I stitch, the goal is to then fit the tongue like so and put it around there and boom, shakalaka, laka, boom. All right, and now it's time to start stitching. You know, the first 
first poke is always the hardest poke, if you know what I mean. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, and now it's time to go. see I have it stitched across it's lined up I and use the guide that's already there which is this line right here you try and stitch it across this line same thing on the back piece I'm gonna use the guide that's already there so when I fold this I'm gonna use this as my guide right here this part right here so this will be my line that I will use to fold this and stitch the same way that I use this as my line to fold here and stitch <laughs> There are a multitude of ways you guys can stitch your tags onto the tongue. Me personally, I'm more comfortable using the sewing awl. You guys can use a sewing machine. You can use a needle and thread, whatever you're comfortable with. I suggest you use that to do this. Next time I do this though, I will use my sewing machine because it's much easier than using the sewing awl. As long as you know where you're stitching, you guys should be fine. Then boom, once you finish stitching, you did both sides and voila, you have your brand new Nike Air Chicago tongue and not the black uh, non-Chicago tongue. So, voila. Well guys, your teacher has taught his lesson. So hopefully you guys learned something today and you're able to do this on your own and replace whatever tongue tags you want. Get crazy with it. You know, throw a Chicago tag on a pair of royal purples. Whatever y'all about to do with it. You know what I mean? I hope y'all are able to do it correctly. All right? This was my first time doing it. It came out pretty nice. Like I said, it's not that hard of a process. You just need to know how to sew, all right? Sew and stitch and all that good stuff, all right? If you guys want, I can put out a video on how to use this sewing tool right here. It's got a lot of work done, all right? It's very manual, very handy, literally handy, all right? And I can teach you guys how to use that if you want a video on that, but this is the tongue tag. So I'm gonna go do that to all them other pairs that I gotta work on. You know, I'm gonna do a review on what I got coming with all the pairs of these. These are not done yet, clearly, because they don't look like the trophy room customs that I did. But let me stop rambling. Let me get out of here, work on doing the rest of the tongues. But as I said, hopefully you guys learn something. Hopefully you learn how to do it. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Peace, I got work to do. Y'all enjoy y'all day, night, or whatever it is, wherever y'all at, and goodbye. See y'all next time. Yeah.